Most of Europe has been crushed under the Axis boot, forcing an Allied retreat. Their supply lines for food and raw materials are crippled. The Suez Canal is a lifeline, connecting Britain with its empire and Middle Eastern oil, making the war in North Africa crucial. As the British and Axis armies face each other across the Libyan-Egypt border, the front line swings like a pendulum across the western desert. A harsh, unforgiving strip of land between the Mediterranean and the Sahara. Mechanized warfare has come of age. Here, tanks are king. I've arrived in Tobruk off a boat filled with replacements and reinforcements. Young men blindly rushing to their deaths. None of them are comfortable having someone like me around. Suits me fine. Most of them won't make it out of here alive. Rommel was kicked out during Operation Crusader, but Axis forces are once again sweeping across the western desert. The Gazala Gallop began with the Allied retreat, and Rommel is at the city's throat. There's no time for tactics. 35,000 of us have one order. Hold to Brook. Next week is not our last week, but the week after. For the summer class we get, we got... Those who 
have always been intrigued with Sniper Elite Gen 2. Battlefield is a pretty big open game, uh, pretty open maps. You got the gigantic ass maps. Uh, the Germans are using Neville Burpers. Uh, I now, need to do if, something about them. You can still argue with me about the Battlefield 3. You're going to argue with me about the close quarters map. Battlefield 3 did try to change these things up. When BF3 and MW3 came out, they were competing. They were going to compete compete anyway they were gonna go who can uh, create the best maps who can create the best support maps, all these bull crap uh, there was a little bit of strategy into it not much if you just go on there you ain't with a whole bunch of friends most likely there will not be any strategy at all uh, you may have something but your teammates are not going to help you out very well. And that goes into Call of Duty also. Now, I'm not going to hate on either of them. I may hate a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I'll hate on, on them both because you got the Battlefield bullcrap logic and you got the Call of Duty bullshit logic. Uh, uh, this game right here, ladies and gentlemen, it makes you think of how ways you can do something. In this game, it doesn't say here's your options of how you can do it. You just gotta look it and see. You gotta always watch your surroundings. As you will see in this beginning, uh, this is just this is just part of the approach if I crouch. The whole video was 30 minutes, so I decided I am going to uh, make that a part two. So you will see that come out here shortly too. Um, so the the uh, I don't know what was it. <laughs> it it makes you. Yeah, oh, okay. You will see me use the binoculars a lot, though, probably throughout this whole game, because I will not know what the sniper is. In the old Sniper Elite 2, it's not that old. I don't know. Uh, you could walk almost anywhere, and if you had a group of people, there was always a sniper hiding in something. Um, my well so, rod should cover that's this. That's what I'm always looking out for. Is I'm always looking out for a sniper to give away my position. I'm not. I don't want nothing of that. If to me, that's about the most stupidest thing I can do to get spotted. Now I can do some pretty other stupid stuff, but as long as I'm doing it and I know what I'm doing, okay, fine and dandy. I'm gonna laugh at it later anyhow. If it's a sniper, I'll, I'll be going. I, I could have done something about him. Uh, but uh anyhow moving on to the past that um, they do have online like uh player versus player pvp uh, and i don't know if it's on the ps3 i know it's on the four it may be on three also i think this is the game itself that has pvp so i decided to try that out and it's a mix of a the maps are not very big but they're not very small I would say I've ever played uh, Ghost Warrior this is it this is kind of how the uh, to me this is how the uh, multiplayer is now the 
graphics are different. But what I'm talking about, how it is, is it's not big, but it's not small. And when you start out, you're obviously looking at, you're you're looking at each other. I mean, I mean, that's just how the point of the game. And you can get behind it. It's nothing like that. It's nothing like what it'll take forever to find your opponent, though. You can literally go from the side. You can make strategies up. You have to be able to watch out, make sure your opponents don't see you. You have to keep an eye out for your opponents. I know it sounds like anything normal for Battlefield or Call of Duty, but Battlefield and Call of Duty are hellaciously fast-paced for this. This is not very fast-paced, unless if you're one of them Call of Duty noobs. Battlefield 4 noobs. Uh, wanting to get onto here now I guess you can say I am no I'm not a battlefield nor Call of Duty noob what I mean by that is if you're one of those guys who is fast paced and you know, you can, you just run straight to hell through it not snipe not it's called sniper or late you know sniping you know it's just one of those oh crap so that's, the game to me has tried to change that up a bit they have made it to where you run out of fast ammo faster. You can't run out of faster. Run out of ammo faster if you got like let's say the uh, MP40 as your SMG. SMG. You can get a few kills with it. Yes, very easily. Uh, they're not the best at medium range like Call of Duty has had them. Uh, I don't know if Battlefield has ever had those guns, so I can't really say much about Battlefield. Uh, I can reach out and shake your damn hand close quarter. Uh, maybe a little bit further. Spit at you. Take a piss and still hit you. <laughs> uh, maybe that kind of range. Uh, I will upload some videos of online gameplay here shortly. Right now, I'm just showing you how it looks. You gotta put some fun. The grenades, to me, it's, it's a bit odd because, or at least at first it was, because I couldn't, I wasn't catching what they were telling me. I'm like, wait, wait, if I hold this long enough, what I'm talking about here later in the second video or start something new I'm going to keep on talking about the game I'm going to show you guys some more what you can do on your uh, your classes later on I'll create that shortly but uh, just wanted to say gracias and adios